if you're new here, let me catch up to speed. All year, I've been mentioning a total solar eclipse, which would be happening on Christmas. And then we needed to watch the week leading up to it, or two weeks, and then the two weeks after it, possibly three. Because with all the gas giants at the same time, things get weird, and just everything in general is a bit strange. And so, I'm a little crazy because I've been staring at this earthquake map for about a week now. Definitely the triple sixes we got in Canada around Christmas <clears throat> had me on edge watching the entire volcano range of Alaska pop off fives has been very interesting as well. You had a five today uh, as the earthquakes apparently continue to move west. And so altogether, we've had a lot of action. We've had sixes down in Chile. Um, Guatemala has been very active. The Puerto Rico Caribbean area has been very active. Um, it's shaking everywhere. And so we're keeping our eye out for the next 10 days. And I said, you know, the big storm that usually follows four to five days after a total solar eclipse, whether it be Harvey in 2017 or the storm we have now, is one that needs to be watched. Models will have a hard time picking it up. And it has the chance to overperform. And having been doing this with uncanny accuracy and intuition, um, I'm right on target about most of it. Uh, like, look at this. This is, I would guess, 45% of the United States covered in some type of precipitation 48 hours from now. We need to watch the low, double low that will be moving over the Midwest up into the Great Lakes area. Models have taken it north into Canada, but some have scraped it in an eastwardly flat fashion along into like Massachusetts and up. So definitely keep your eye on this thing. And since it showed up in the models almost two weeks ago, I've been noticing it does weird stutter, stutter steps with its low and splits into multiple lows and has a weird retrograde fashion thingy that's already going on, at least in the models. But don't panic. Asteroid Fight Club is cool. We got this. All good energy helps everything. And prayer warriors, it always helps to pray. Matthew Capucci, this storm helped bring 3.3 inches of rain to L.A. in five days, produced a tornado in Ventura Harbor, California. It will bring mountain snow to the four corners, severe weather to the deep south, a foot of snow to New England, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota. Messy system in New England. And so this 996 low that it says it's going to get to here as it drops lower, moving north and east, that would classify it as a Category 1 land hurricane. Um, if it were out in the tropics, it would be Category 1. So you're going to get some high wind speeds. You're going to get some icier, snowier parts on the top. But then you're going to get some probably pretty massively heavy rainfall in some areas. This is a look at the model's guess at precipitation totals over the next 16 days. As you can see, the northwest will continue to get pounded with lots of rain and snow. And then, like half the United States will get anywhere from three to five, eight inches rain or snow. So, that's interesting. All right, so watch how our storm will be moving through the Midwest. Let me take it all the way back. Okay, so it's moving up to the four corners now. And it will, the mountains will kind of tear it up to where it can't form its low as well. But once it gets out of the mountains, we're down into that 990s, 995. <clears throat> and then you'll notice how the precipitation cone or convection cone, or call it what you want to, 
will be pushing to the east as the low kind of tracks back to the west. And then it gets a giant rain swath in its tail. Like that is heavy rain for a lot of states right there. And it kind of moves backwards. And then, <clears throat> and then so I see how it stops and kind of rotates there. And that's like an 18 hour period. And then you get your next storm coming through. But <clears throat> yeah, this storm definitely has a chance of overperforming. And so I would stay on top of it. And then Cranky Weather Guy, the king of weather Twitter, and the person who's done the very best at meteorology, a weatherman all year long, I suggested we're going to get a, we have the possibility of getting a pretty heavy, nasty storm. Right around the time we just saw a pretty heavy, nasty storm on the models. So we take them one at a time here, and we know we have a storm that surprised some people in California, and so there's no reason to think that it isn't going to continue to surprise people uh, into the until it passes out the east. Now, I've been talking about this storm for like two weeks, and you know every every day leading up to this i've been showing this right here and if you'll notice it's the projected size of it is actually much bigger than it was a day ago two days ago um so it is already performing and it usually takes models a few days to correct from the total solar eclipse Here's the deal, man. The eclipse blocks out the natural process and progress of the atmosphere, totally altering it. So it's it's a real deal, holy field thing. But we can handle it. I just want you to be aware and be prepared and keep your energy and your attitude as cool and as hot as possible. It's just got a weird hitch to it, man. There's something about this storm I can't put my finger on. A moment of silence for all that is beautiful and all that is possible. And love and romance and laughter. Anthony Maselio wants to know, did you say you wanted to see some Akshark low modeling? Common P, okay. And here's the deal, dude. There's the thing at the top by Alaska. And then there's the thing in the middle where, look at that. Whatever that is, is that our eclipse signature on the change in the atmosphere? But whatever this red blob is, and then that thing, it seems like there's going to be some magnification of the things around it with instability. Oh, I used one too many words. Yeah, we're just into it. Um, I'll be keeping you posted. I'll be around. I'll be your date for the storm. Asterisk. Asterisk. Unless somebody picks me up and I get end up on a real date. But you know what to do. And in case, know that Cranky Weather Guy is alerting people in the Northeast. You have a significant icing event shaping up. We really don't like ice here at Thor News. Not that anything's wrong with it. It's just... When ice comes from the sky, it ices everything, and you can't drive or ride your unicycle or walk very well on ice compared to other things. So, and ice can take out power lines and stuff. So know that the whole weather Twitter team and the weather team and all weather lovers out there will be keeping that track on it. Greg Weather Guy's got a blog that he did on the 26th. I'll leave it linked for you in the information box below. And, um... I will be talking to you guys early and often because I love you. God bless everyone. Stay cool.